Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review video about the Risha Brutus Gore-Tex jacket. This is a versatile and flexible touring jacket from Risha which suits a wide variety of conditions from cold and wet to dry and warm. It's got a removable Gore-Tex waterproof membrane which is what makes the Brutus so adaptable to different conditions. And it also has an extra trick up its sleeves to give you even more options for different climates which we'll get onto in a minute. The outer shell is made from a mix of 600 denier polyester and there's some tougher ripstop material on the shoulders and also on the forearms. There's fit adjustment from belts at the waist and also above and below each elbow. This allows tweaking of the suit to suit use with the liners in or out. There are also elasticated pull cords at the hem to give you a better seal against cold and rain. It fastens down the front with a chunky one-way zip and then a storm flap goes over the top with Velcro to protect it from rain. At the collar, there's a Velcro tab to secure it and there's a padded section here that makes it more flexible on your throat if you're riding with it fastened. If you prefer to keep that bit open, there's a loop on the end that secures over a hook to hold it out of your way. The cuffs open up with a long zip and Velcro, and I found there was just about enough room to get a winter glove in there. As usual with Risha, it was a bit of a wiggle to get the glove inside, but it wasn't too bad. And those zips double up as vents, so pulling both pullers to the bottom gives you a vent, but you've still got the cuff secured. I wore this jacket on a cold day in February. It let out a really good amount of air, and it was enough to make me want to close this zip again pretty quickly. Those two cuff vents make up one of the three pairs of vents on this jacket. There are also a pair of chest vents behind these panels. If you undo the zip and release the Velcro strip at the bottom, you can fold the cover back. It's then held open by magnets and you get a good flow of air through there. The final pair of vents are on the back of the jacket and all of these allow a good flow of air on the warmest of days thanks to the waterproof membrane being removable. So if you ride with that waterproof liner out and the zip's undone, there are only a couple of mesh linings between your body and the airflow. So last things last with the exterior, the pockets, Risha List 5, that's made up of two top opening pockets just here near the waist. There are two side openers behind there that are poppered closed and then you've got the usual touring jacket pocket that you always find at the lower spine. The two that open at the top just here, they're water resistant, but they're not waterproof. They are lined with a waterproof material, but water might be able to get in through the top. This pocket at the back is big enough to stow the waterproof lining if you ride with that taken out of the jacket and you still want somewhere that you can get to it quite quickly. Right, let's move to the inside of the jacket. The first layer you'll find on the inside is the waterproof membrane. It's a two layer Gore-Tex waterproof jacket that's attached into the outer shell with two zips. If you ride with it in place, you do the inner jacket up first with a zip and some press studs before doing the outside jacket up over the top. That waterproof jacket's bright orange and it's been designed so it can be worn as a standalone jacket. Now normally that just means it's something you can wear once you get to the end of your day's riding and you want a casual jacket for the evening. In this case you can do that but it's more really about being able to wear the waterproof jacket over the top of the overall jacket. And it makes sense really when you think about it, having the waterproof layer on the outside means everything inside of it has a better chance of staying dry. If you wear this jacket normally with the waterproof liner on the inside then that protects you against any water that gets past the outside of the jacket. So at the end of a wet day's riding, the idea is that you're dry, but the jacket probably isn't. And a wet jacket's best avoided because it's heavier, it's more likely to make you feel cold, it can also take ages to dry out. So if the waterproof layer is on the outside, then your main jacket is drier, it's lighter, and you'll probably feel warmer. And with a setup like this, that means you've got something that suits a wide range of conditions. If it's red hot and there's little to no chance of rain, you just take the waterproof jacket out and keep it to hand. And if the weather does change, you just put the liner over the top. If it's relatively cool and there's a good chance of some rain, and I'd say just ride with the liner in the jacket as normal, because it's only really heavy rain that's going to soak through the outside. If it's raining quite hard from the off and you know it's going to be going on all day, just put the waterproof jacket over the top before you set off to give you the best defence against that rainwater. And that liner being bright orange means that you'll stand out better when the visibility is poor. There's also a thermal liner inside the waterproof jacket. It's a quilted material with a mesh section down the spine just to allow it to breathe a bit better. I didn't wear this jacket in heavy rain. You might think that's unprofessional, but I've worn enough Gore-Tex equipped jackets over the years to trust that they'll keep me dry. And there's also the Gore guarantee. So if one of their jackets leaks, then they'll sort it out. I wore this when it was pretty damn cold out. I had just had a t-shirt and a thin thermal layer underneath and with the jacket's thermal liner in place as well it kept me relatively comfortable for an hour's ride in single digit temperatures. Putting in another warmth layer would have made it comfier still but it was actually okay as it was. Behind those warmth and waterproof layers is the main mesh liner which is where the armour is stored. Shoulder and elbow armour is fitted as standard, it's D3O armour that meets the basic level one of the CE standard for impact protection. 
Back and chest protection is available as well, but you have to buy that separately. A full back protector that meets level two of CE costs 53 pounds as we record this, and a narrower spine protector that meets the lower level one is 43 pounds. The chest protector inserts meet level one and they cost 35 pounds as we record this. The Brutus Gore-Tex jacket is approved under the Personal Protective Equipment Regulations and it meets the basic level within the CE standard, which is a single A rating. In terms of internal pockets, there are three in the main shell. Two of those are at the waist and the other is a Napoleon pocket behind the main zip. Those are duplicated in the thermal liner. There are no pockets in the waterproof liner. So that means you'll have three internal pockets when you're riding with both liners or with no liners, but only one pocket if you've just got the waterproof liner fitted. Three of the internal pockets are waterproof. That's the Napoleon pocket and the pair of pockets in the thermal liner, assuming that you've got that attached inside the waterproof layer. For connecting to trousers, this jacket comes with short and long connection zips. There are matching trousers available, which are also called the Brutus Gore-Tex. have got similar construction, also with a removable waterproof membrane. As we record this, the Brutus trousers cost 439.99 in most sizes. Add that to the 569.99 list price for this jacket as we record this, and you're looking at just over a thousand pounds for the combination. Both the jacket and trousers also have a 10% price premium on sizes over 3XL, so it's an extra 100 quid or so for 4XL and above. It's not cheap, but Gore-Tex kit is very rarely cheap. If you're looking at touring and you know there could be a little bit of everything in terms of weather, then this is a very good option. It's got an answer for everything from constant rain to red hot heat waves, all in one jacket. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Risha Brutus Gore-Tex jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.